Councilman elect Ed Nielsen's return home will be a welcome sight to his neighborhood in Northeast Philadelphia. He has a strong history in the Northeast, but he hopes his new role as city councilman will put him in a position to do great things for Philadelphia. Well, I'm currently a state representative, and the reason I decided to run for city council was because seven out of ten problems that came into my office were city related. So I thought it would be a better way for me to serve the community as a whole. Ed Nielsen attended public school in Northeast Philadelphia. When he graduated and became an electrician, he also became a lifelong member of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Union. I'm an electrician. Um, I worked construction most of my whole life. As director of the Local 98 Union, Nielsen helped generate numerous pieces of legislation. The role earned him the position of Deputy Secretary of Labor under Governor Rendell's administration, a job he considers integral to his election as state representative in 2012. I was blessed. I uh, was asked by Governor Rendell to serve in his cabinet because he saw my legislative experience as a plus. In Harrisburg, Nielsen fought to improve Philly's education system, expanded seniors' rights, and addressed the problem of absentee landlords. But those are only a few of the issues he feels strongly about. It's kids, fighting for kids. Um, the children of the community are the people that have no voice. HB 198, a bill Nielsen feels strongly about, provides early dyslexia screening and literacy intervention for public school students. The bill, inspired by his son who is dyslexic, made his path cross with Rachel Hooper, a former city council fellow turned legislative aide to Nielsen. So for the past year, I've been a city council fellow and I'll soon be transitioning in as a legislative aide for Councilman-elect Nielsen. We are both very passionate about education and dyslexia. Um, we brought dyslexia awareness throughout the Commonwealth and we started a program and that will be in schools coming in September and that will help kids. Ed Nielsen has been a staple to his community. Baseball coach, Boy Scout troop leader and local philanthropist are just a few of his many hats. And I do all the coaching at the boys club still. I, I try and spend as much time as I can. I'm involved with them in scouting and other activities. Nielsen is the kind of councilman you meet out and about in the community. He hopes his at-large title will help him serve all members of the Philadelphia community. Having five kids and raising my family here, I'm going to fight to make certain that the city of Philadelphia is way better off so they can raise their family here as well.